Okay, here we go. Hi everyone and welcome to a Mighty Kinko tutorial. My name is Zero and I'll be your instructor for this lesson. Um, so this is an update slash follow up uh, continuum tutorial on how to extract Smash animations. In the last tutorial I did in regards to Smash Brothers, we got the stuff from Brawl. However, with Ultimate wrapping up, it's on finally time for somebody to talk about how to get the animations from that. Now, I'm a little scared to make this video given the fact that Nintendo is kind of on a ban hammer for things that are hacking, so I won't be able to show you as much as I would like to, but at the same time, I'll be able to tell you what you need to do in order to get it done. Now, um, I guess what I should tell you before we begin is that I am using an old version of Blender in order to make this work. The tools that we are going to use are pretty much obsolete now. There are other versions of it, and um, I don't know how to use stuff for 3D Max or Maya. So, if you are looking for a tutorial on how to do this in Maya or 3D Max, um, I can't help you. I'm a Blender girl. But um, when you do this tutorial and you do use Blender, you can export it into a format that um, those guys would like. Now, I can't say for 100% sure that it would actually work, but I do know that, you know, it's possible in theory <laughs> because I don't use them. Okay, so let's begin the tutorial and, you know, start getting them animations. So one of the things that you're going to need, obviously, is a copy of Smash, um, either legit or wink um, I hope you got a legit version and you're gonna have to dump it because we're gonna need the romps from it in order to get all the models and animations that we need to make our project go now um, I would this is that part of the tutorial where I said I wish I could show you how to do it but I'm not sure if I can so I'll just tell you I mean I guess I can't really tell you either because if I could show you I would show you that um, we just opened up a copy of Yuzu we had our smash, we put smash inside of Yuzu, and then we go to the, you know, the little icon that says smash on there, and then we right click on it, and then we did export romps, um, and then we did a full export, like full, and then it saved into our Yuzu dump file, and that's how we got the romp, that's how we would get the romps from there, but I can't really do that, so... You guys are going to have to figure that one out on your own. Yeah. But let's say you did figure it out. And we have our... Let me go back here. We have our dump that we got. And we have Smash. And it probably won't look like this because I have just smashed everything inside here. Um, but you will most definitely get a data.arc file. Now, if you had did any modifications in uh, previous Smash, you know, like Brawl and whatnot, you are used to the arc file. And this is what people get hung up on because um, we're used to that file and we're used to a way of dealing with it. So back in the day when you were working with Brawl and stuff, you would just open up, you know, Brawl Box or Brawl Crate and you would open up the arc file and then it would have all of the pecs and stuff inside there. And then we would be able to do what we want to do with that, like we did in the previous tutorial. But Ultimate does it differently. They have the ARC file, but it's in a totally different format of ARC, a totally different strain of ARC, where uh, Brawl Box and all those other things can't even open it. So you'll need a secondary program to make this thing go. Now, one of the popular ones that people use a lot is ARC Explorer, but because I think it's because I'm down here on Windows 7, uh, I can't open it. So I can't use that. And instead, I'm going to be using the previous version of Arc Explorer, which was Cross Arc, which came first. And then Arc Explorer was like, we're the best. And everybody moved on to that. So we're going to go down a bit and use the old tools and use Arc Cross Arc instead. Now, Cross Arc is in the description, so you can download it too and follow along with me, as well as the other plugins we're going to be using as well. So once we got cross arc open, we're just going to go and open up, you know, use it by going to file, open arc, and then navigate to our romps file. And you see, oh, I'm already here. And then we're going to select data arc. So select that and wait for it to go. Okay. So when it opens up, you'll see a little folder called root, and we're going to click on the plus next to it to unpack it, well, to open it up, and you'll see that this is all the stuff that makes Smash go. 
Um, if you just want the animations, um, the fighter, the motions and the animations, uh, you would just select the fighter and then right click and then extract files. But if you are like me and you are a klepto collecting all of game files and stuff like that, you can just go to the right, the top where it says root and then extract the files and get the whole thing. But that's if you got memory for that and you got time and if you're crazy like me and just like collecting stuff. So I've already done that so I'm not going to do it again. So um, once it's finished you can just close cross arc and do that. Now I'm not sure if it needs to be but I put the like uh, install all the files that were inside of the cross arc uh, zip inside of my romps folder. I just do that because it keeps everything nice and neat in case I need to go for the tools again and don't have to jump over from here to here trying to find all the tools. Everything is inside the one folder that it needs to be. So that's just me. That's why I have all this stuff here. I'm not sure if that makes it work better or not, but it, for me it's a really good workflow thing to keep. Okay, now back to our tutorial. Now that we have our root extracted or whatever folder you choose, I did the root. <laughs> We're just going to navigate over here to the fighters. Now, if you see this folder, it says fighters, and it has all the fighters that are inside the games, their models, and their animations. Now, I'm going to use Bayonetta for um, the demo of this, because as you can see, I'm a huge fan of Bayonetta, and even my baby, <laughs> my cat, her name is Bayonetta, so Bayonetta for the win here. But you guys can pick any one you want if you don't want to use her. Um, we're just going to double click on the folder and you can see the model inside here and inside that model folder is some more folders that break her down even more. Her bets, her body, the Gamora summon, her hair, her wicked weave arm and her wicked weed leg. We need just the body for what we want. So we have her body. Now inside the body folder, which is going to be the same with everybody else, is the C folders. And the C folders are the color folders, so you have their different textures and stuff for the alternate colors that you would want to use. This is good for when you want to extract the models and stuff, but we are into the animations. Now, when you come inside this folder, and I'm going to sort it so that it's a lot easier to see, you will notice that uh, there are no PEC files in here. Uh, PEC is what we used to use back in the day with Smash, and uh, Nintendo totally threw that in the trash, and now they have the new uh, format, which is really NU format. It's NU for models, N-U-M-D-L, and then for the animations, it's N-U-A-N-M. <laughs> I don't know why it's such a tongue twister, but it is. So you get it, new anims, new animations, new model, this is what they use now. So. We need to have a plugin or something that can open up these files. And luckily we do. So we need to go to the website that I showed you down here and get the new, you know, new plugin. I really don't know what to call it, but I just call it the new, the new plugin for Blender. And I have it right here. Um, this one is constantly, well, it was updated a year ago at the time of this recording, but um, it does have two versions for people like me there's one version that's for blender 2.79 um yeah it's 2.79 and then there's another branch that they're updating constantly that is for 2.8 and up now i just use 2.79 because i like that blender more and i think i had some problems with it back when i was using the new blender but i think it was updated since then i don't know all i know is that the old blender works for me and i'm happy with it because i like the old blender better so, now I can start clicking everything. <laughs> Alright, so this is what we're looking for right now. As you see, I have Bayonetta already in here. There's proof of concept that this does work. So, yeah, I'm like, oh, it doesn't work. It works. So, I'm going to select new, and then we're going to show you how we got Bayonetta in here in the first place. So, you're going to take that file that we had got from the new GitHub and install that plugin. Once the plugin is installed, you will see in the import menu that you have this two options here, and this is what we're going to use: uh, import file, new model, the N U M D L B, and new animation, or N U A N M B. So we can't import a model, I mean, an animation without a skeleton. So you need to import a model first, then the animation. So let's bring on our bayonetta. So I'm going to go to file, import, new N U M D L B. Navigate to our dump site. <laughs> dump site. All right, so we're going to model, body, color zero, and then model. And then we're going to wait for it to come in. 
Uh, it's gone. Okay, so we have our model in, and you see we have our bayonetta. Now, if this is a little disturbing to you, and you feel like you're one of them folks that need to have textures, all you have to do is press the N key, and then scroll down until you see texture solid, and you see we have her stuff here. We can even use backface calling to make it a little more uh, pretty. All right, so we have herself in here. We got Bayonetta, and now it's time to get those animations and moving. So what you need to do is click on her skeleton. So I think it's something right here. Yeah, and you'll see that the skeleton is highlighted. I'm not sure if we got to go be in object mode or pose mode with this one, but I'm just going to use object mode right now, and we're just going to import her uh, animations. So to import the animations, we're going to go to File, Import. Uh, the new anim, see it's highlighted now because we have a skeleton inside here. And now we're going to navigate back inside of the bayonet of model folder and go back into where it says motion. And then we're going to select her body and then the same color. And you see we have a whole bunch of animations in here for her that makes her go. So um, let me see, special start. So it's like this. And you see, we have her animation, which is cool, right? Now, one of the fun things that you can do is that you can keep putting in all the animations um, in here if you want them. So let's say you wanted to create uh, an archive where all of her animations were inside here. Uh, you can do that by going to open up a new window, and we're going to switch from 3D mode to dope sheet. You see, those are all the frames and stuff that makes the animation go. Um, while we're here in the Dope Sheet menu, we're going to click on where it says Dope Sheet and switch it to Action L Editor. And here you will see that all of her animations are in here. Cool. So she already comes when you import it, and she already has a bunch of animations in here. But these are the animate her face and everything else. Alright, so every time you add an animation in here, it goes inside of the rest animation library. So if we want to add more animations, I'm going to... I don't think I need to click on her bones. I'm so used to PSA stuff when you have to do that. We can just import... Oh, you do have to click on her bones. Neat. Alright, so let me find the bone... Let me see. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go back to her special. So I had everything showing. Where'd her bones go? Damn it, Bayonetta. Uh, there we go. If your bones go missing, just press Alt-H. And that'll bring them back. Select your bones. Import. And them. And, you know, you can put another thing in here. So now turn is in here, and we had her other one in here as well, if I can find it. Special. Now, I, I am not 100% sure, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't, that you can just select a bunch of animations and import them all at once. Um, I did it before, and then when I tried to do it again, it didn't work. So it's kind of like a 50-50 thing, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. So you can either keep trying to do that, or you can import them in one at a time. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do, what was it? Yes, so we can try, uh, let's try this. Uh, uh. Yes, well, it's loading. It could be working. Ah. Uh -huh. Maybe I should pause it. I feel like as soon as I pause it, that's when it's going to click and come in. All right, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, as soon as I paused it, that's when it came back. <laughs> okay, so it seemed like all of those work. So we have our various animations that are in here for you to see. Okay. Now that you have your animations inside here, it's all up to you to what you do with it afterwards. You can select it and export it and 
you know, use them for your projects. Or you can just sit here and look at all her motions and something and play around. I don't know. But that's how you bring the emotions and animations here. Now, I do plan on using them in Second Life later on, but that's just me. And I can probably do a tutorial on that. But then again, it's just the same process as we did with Brawl with the retargeting. But that's just for crazy Second Life players. Okay. So that's it for this tutorial, and that is how you bring Brawl stuff in, t I mean Brawl, I'm so used to calling Smash Brothers Brawl, that's how you bring Smash Brother animations into Blender. Now I feel like it would be wrong for me not to select Bayonetta and have her do her taunt, so I'm going to end it on her taunt, or at least do my outro on her taunt. Doesn't that sound so dirty? <laughs> I don't want to be dirty. Let's see, T-A-U, oh, there's no taunt? Well, there has to be a taunt, but I don't know what it's called. Um, what what would they call a taunt? Let's see. Attack, landing, special loop, H, tease maybe, throwing, throw, catch, capture, Damage, damage down, passive, swallowed, misfoot, stomp, attack, climb, walk, heavy gut. This is like murder on my eyes without my glasses. Uh, swims, hair, cliff, sleep, finish. What's finish? Player win. Oh, these would probably be, um, this is JP. That might be for her mouth. Appeal? Appeal, maybe. And try entry as well. She did her break dancing. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Appeal. Yeah, there you go. So taunt is appeal. Alright, there you go. And that is how you bring Bayonetta or any other Smash folk into your blender to use for other stuff. That's so cool. Wait, let's see it without all the creepy bones. Let me uh, move them to a different layer. There we go. Dance, Bayonetta. Dance. Dance, Cereza. Yeah, so cool. Okay, that's it for this tutorial, guys. See you on the next one. And remember, if you need help with something, please feel free to ask in the comments or come over to our Discord and say hi. Um, my name is Zero, and I hope that this helps you guys with your project. Good luck, and tell people to start ripping more animations, damn it.